so just woke up. It was pretty cold last night, a little bit colder than I thought it was gonna be, but not too bad. I slept pretty good. Um, it's almost 6.30 right now, so just making some coffee, got some water boiling behind me. Then I'm gonna make some breakfast, and I think we're gonna get things packed up and get on the road this morning. Um, sucks they can't have a fire right now. Everything's kind of banned. It'd be nice to be sitting around a warm fire this morning, but looks like it's gonna be a nice day. So yeah, it's gonna have some coffee and breakfast, and then we're gonna get on the road. camped has this little creek running through here which is nice so it's gonna wash off my spoon and wash out my coffee cup and uh, get some water for today as well It'd be nice to have some nice cold fresh water It was a cool morning, but once we got out into the sun, things started to warm up pretty quickly. We had a pretty awesome day of riding ahead of us with quite a bit of off-road at the beginning, and I was definitely looking forward to it. This day saw us spending most of our time above 4,000 feet in a pretty good portion above 5,000 feet. It was pretty awesome to be up here at higher elevation most of the time up in the pine trees and uh, cooler temperatures. lunch today we stopped off in the small town of Sumter. This town has a rich history of gold and dredging in this area. It got its start back in the 1860s. You can actually still come here and tour one of the remaining gold dredges. The town was a lot bigger but it did suffer a pretty massive fire that burnt most of the buildings um, to the ground in the early 1900s and it hasn't been as big since. Now it's just kind of a little tourist stop uh, and there's a lot of cool um, gold activity in this area and a lot of abandoned mines around this area as well. I would have liked to have spent more time exploring here, but we were on a tight schedule and had some miles to make. During the day today, we hopped on a few different sections of Route 5 of the Oregon Backcountry Discovery Route. This is another section here, and I have to say, this looks like an awesome route, and I definitely wouldn't mind doing the full Route 5 in the future. It passes through a ton of awesome areas.
saw there was a fire lookout on the map and we wanted to come up and check it out. Little did we know we would get so lucky that there would be somebody there to let us go up to the top. Alright, so this is a super rad opportunity getting to come up here to the top of this lookout tower. The guy let us come up here. I'm scared of heights. We're about 80 feet off the ground, so a little sketchy walking up these steps, but super rad view. awesome getting to spend some time at the fire tower there and chat with the guy who was stationed there learn more history about that particular tower as well as others Jesus. in the area but now it's time to make our way back down the hill we had some pretty incredible views on our way down we were making our way back to a section of pavement to uh, stop in the small town of Ukiah to get gas and any needed supplies before making our way out to our final campsite So just got to camp. This is our last night out here. Did about 160 miles today. It was all actually really good, super awesome terrain. Um, had a great time out there. Did quite a bit of pavement, but we had a lot of cool, awesome stretches as you saw. There's a lot of cool uh, stretches of pavement out here. But yeah, just gonna get a tent set up probably right over here and then uh, gonna cook dinner and probably relax and then I think we're gonna hit the road pretty early tomorrow morning and uh, try and get home a bit early. I got about 180 miles to get to back to Bend so yeah I'm uh, looking forward to sleeping in my own bed but it's been rad and the weather's been perfect lots of awesome sights out here but I'm gonna get camp set up The more trips I've taken on the motorcycle, the more I've come to enjoy it. Something about streamlining what you bring down to just the basics and the necessities is really quite enjoyable. I've enjoyed this trip so far immensely and just being outside and spending so much time on the bike has been really great. So it's getting pretty dark out already. Not sure how much more filming I'll do this evening, but got some chicken and rice for dinner tonight and it looks like we can have fires out here so we're gathering some wood and then we're gonna ha probably have a fire tonight which will be nice grab that toilet paper grab it out for you once I get my water boiling or roll on the stove It was a real treat being able to have this fire on the last night of our trip. This evening was a little bit chillier, so this was definitely welcomed. But anyways, I didn't do any more filming after this. We kind of just relaxed around the fireplace and recapped the day and called it an early night so we could get up early in the morning and hit the road. That'll take place in part three, so this is the end of part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.